Hey guys, was geht ab and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create one of these cinematic mad effects with just one single adjustment layer. It's pretty easy, um, it's pretty fast, so yeah, let's get started. To create this effect we need an adjustment layer and we need the curve. So click down here and create a curves adjustment layer and no worries if this is the first time you are seeing the curves adjustment layer I'm going to explain it very easy and very quickly. So it's very simple you basically see the histogram in the background so you see the shadows on the left, the midtones in the middle and the highlights on the right. And then there's this line here in the middle and this line as it looks like this it means zero. So no adjustment, the picture looks exactly the same without the layer or with the layer. And now if you click on the line and drag it down the whole image gets darker and if you drag it up the whole image gets brighter. Now the beautiful thing is that you can create more than one of these little adjustment points. So for example we could create one here and one here. So for example if you want to have more contrast we could just click on this little adjustment dot and drag it a little bit down in the shadows and then brighten up the highlights and voila you have a little bit more contrast. But we don't want to create contrast, we want to create this nice mad effect. So to do that we can keep these points and just brighten up the very very darks. And as you can see we already got the effect, as easy as that. Now the cool thing is we could also do it with the highlights. So in some photos and some looks you will see something like that and that's basically the same effect as in the shadows but applied in the highlights. Exactly the other way around. So you basically cut off the highlights or cut off the shadows. But yeah, don't feel limited to what I showed you. There are a lot of variations you can do with this effect. So for example, if you bring back this point into the middle, you would see that you get a harder effect. Or if you bring this point a bit in the negative, you create a little bit of a contrasty look. So yeah, feel free to do whatever you want. Combine this with other techniques and I'm sure you will create awesome pictures. All right, guys, that's already it. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, maybe share it with a friend. And yeah, I will see you in the next video then. 